<laughs> Anthony Turacek's parents are glued to his bedside. I haven't gone since we got here. <laughs> They almost lost their four-year-old when H1N1 led to encephalitis, a critical brain infection. It's like the worst thing you can ever think of. The time comes like this, you just don't know what to, don't know what to do. You're, you are helpless. He did really good today. After a few days of fever, Anthony's mom brought him to the ER at Children's yeah. Hospital of Pittsburgh just to be nothing. safe. Within the hour, they were in the intensive care unit. They did that CAT scan then and saw the inflammation in his brain. Just in the past six weeks, doctors here have seen five cases of H1N1 encephalitis. It certainly is, you know, it's concerning because most of these are the previously well children. This is part of the emerging disease of H1N1 that we need to better understand. We'll slide you up. After a handful of similar pediatric cases in Texas this past spring, the CDC issued a report about a potential connection between H1N1 and encephalitis. It's now monitoring for cases nationwide. There can be long-term neurological damage. He's a tough little he's, guy. He's a tough little guy and he turned around really quickly. But Anthony's prognosis is good. Now. He's getting better and we're happy. Happy he's still here. <laughs> But they're not leaving his side until he's well enough to play with his toys again. Karen Brown, CBS News, Pittsburgh.